Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I have all of the fragrances that I wore last week to share with you. So I've got seven different fragrances here. Most of these are fragrances that you guys would have seen in my haul videos. Um, I'm finally, I'm getting around to wearing all of these. I So I've worn all these. I've also tested a ton of fragrances too. So I've just been spraying like, I don't know, sometimes three to four fragrances on a day. <laughs> Um, just depending on, you know, what day it is, but anyways, so I'm just going to jump right in. The first one that I'm going to talk about is such a stunner of a fragrance. This smells amazing. I'm just so sad that it performs so badly. It is because of fragrances like this that I can sometimes wear three and four fragrances in one day because this will give you, I don't know, three hours maybe. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that it's because it's warm out now that I'm not getting any good longevity out of this. I'm hoping that this will do better in the cooler weather because it smells so amazing. Oh my gosh. So I haven't even told you what this is. This is Pascal Morabito or Boreal and this is such a sweet, yummy, cozy, warm, beautiful perfume. So Or Borealis, Bergamot, Jasmine, Freesia, Tonka Bean, Vanilla, Heliotrope, Sandalwood, Patchouli, and Musk. And I basically just get the vanilla and the Tonka Bean and the Heliotrope. I don't get any like florals out of this really at all. This is just a yummy, beautiful perfume. I love it. Like I say, I'm going to put this away for cooler weather and hope that when the cold weather comes back around that this will work better for me. If not, it'll become a layering fragrance or something. It's so beautiful though. So that is Or Boreal from Pascal Morabito. And then this other one is a Pascal Morabito as well. This is Pure Pearl. I talked about this one a little bit uh, when I hauled it because I had already tried it on my hand. Oh my goodness. No, I'm sorry. I talked a little bit about this one when I hauled it because I did try to wear this one to work one day because it was so beautiful. Um, but this one, it lasted about four to five hours before it just completely disappeared. I mean, it completely disappeared, like gone. Could not smell it at all anymore after that. Now, maybe others could, but I doubt it. It's such a gorgeous fragrance, though. So, Pure Pearl is Pear Blossom, Bergamot, Heliotrope, Gardenia, Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, Musk, and Cedar. It's beautiful. It's like the Or Boreal, where it's just yummy. It smells amazing. It's so good. I'm just, again, going to wait for some cool weather again and hope that this does okay. If not, it'll become a layering fragrance. Oh, it is so beautiful. I love this. Or it'll become a fragrance that I like spray my bed with before I go to bed. It's so beautiful. This one, I get a beautiful, lovely pear and tonka bean. Ugh, it's sweet. It's yummy. I love this bottle. It is so beautiful with the white. I mean, just being such a beautiful pure white bottle with like little gold accents. I think it's so pretty. I really do love this fragrance, but oh, such bad performers, both of those. It's really sad. Okay, this next one is also not a great performing fragrance, but it smells so good. This is Lalique Satine, and this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. It's, um, it is kind of an older fashion type vanilla. It's not old fashioned in any way, but it doesn't smell like a modern vanilla fragrance. It's not a gourmand but it is a beautiful vanilla. So sateen is heliotrope, gardenia, jasmine, tonka bean, vanilla, pink pepper, sandalwood, patchouli, and vetiver. It's gorgeous. I love this. Again, I'm gonna hope that it works better for me in cooler weather. If not, it'll become some kind of a layering fragrance, but 
I do love this one. This is more of like a perfumey vanilla. It's not, like I say, it's not gourmand. It's not like yummy. Um, it's beautiful though. So that is Lalique Satine and not a great performer. Okay, the next one that I wore was a Kenzo Eau de Lumiere. Sorry, Kenzo Flower Eau de Lumiere. And this is a beautiful fragrance. This one... I wore to work. It got me through the entire day beautifully. I could still smell it when I got home. It's just a beautiful, bright fragrance. And I love this bottle. It's so elegant looking. It's like, I don't know. I mean, how elegant is that? It's just like this beautiful, I don't even know. I just think it's gorgeous. So Eau de Lumiere is Calabrian Bergamot, Cassis, Jasmine, Bulgarian Rose, Ylang Ylang Peach, Violet, White Musk, and Heliotrope. It's got this like beautiful sharpness to it that I absolutely love. And this one, I thought that it smelled a lot like the original Lalique and I tested them side by side and they are different enough that I want the original Lalique too. Um, this one's sweeter than the Lalique. This one has that something in it that gives it a bite that the Lalique doesn't have. I just love this fragrance. It's really, really a stunner of a fragrance. If you guys have not tried this one, I definitely recommend it. It's so beautiful. So this is Kenzo Flower Eau de Lumiere. Okay, so this next one is one that I just hauled in my part one, I think in my part one um, haul. And this is Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. Um, and this is a beautiful honey fragrance. Now, this is much more of a floral honey. I think this has like gardenia or jasmine, possibly both. She's really known for using a lot of gardenia in her fragrances, I think. I think. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong, but I think Kim Kardashian uses a lot of gardenia. But uh, this, like I say, is more of a floral honey, and it is beautiful. I definitely got a good six hours out of this before it faded on me. Some people say that they get really poor performance out of this, and I could see that. I'm just a lucky one where I definitely got a good five or six hours out of it before I, you know, it faded or before I would have needed to reapply it. Um, somebody asked me, how does this compare to uh, Zoologist B? And surprisingly, it's not like, I mean, Zoologist B is just on another level for me. However, the honey note in this is beautiful and it is not like, you know, it's definitely not, not comparable. And yeah, I, I don't want to say that this can like hold a candle to B, but it does have a lot in common with B, and except for B is not floral. This is a floral, which is why I love this, because this is more of a floral honey, whereas B is more of like a beautiful, gourmand, incense-y, straightforward honey. I don't know. I just like this. There's something um, nostalgic smelling about this for me, too. So like the day that I was wearing this, every time I get, I would get a whiff of it, it would remind me of something like from my childhood. I have no idea what, but something. And I get that kind of nostalgia every time I smell it. It's just a beautiful fragrance. Like I say, some people get really bad performance out of this. Um, I didn't get, it wasn't horrible on me, but it wasn't great either. I definitely got, like I say, a good five or six hours out of it. It was definitely worth, you know, the 17 or 18 bucks I paid for it. And I will say that this bottle is gorgeous, but it is awkward to spray. Like it's really a hard bottle to hold and spray. You have to have a big hand and you have to, you know, it's... It's awkward, but I still think it's a really beautiful bottle. So anyways, that is Kim Kardashian Pure Honey. Uh, next, I wore the Adidas Born Original. Now, this I adore in the bottle. I think it smells amazing. This has a beautiful caramel apple note in it or candied apple note. It's sweet. It's yummy. It's gourmand. It's warm. It's like everything that I look for. 
in a winter kind of fragrance. Now, when I wore this, it did something really weird on my skin. It almost turned sour on me and it was sickening. Like it was a sickening sour fragrance. I'm hoping that it was just too warm <laughs> the day that I wore it um, because it was, it has been quite warm here. So I'm just hoping that it was too warm. Um, I'm going to try this again in the fall when it starts to get cold again and hope that it works for me. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to pass it along, but it is a beautiful, sweet apple fragrance. Gourmand, yummy, cozy. So that is Adidas Born Original. I do love this bottle too. And last but not least, this is the fragrance that I wore yesterday. I got so many compliments on this fragrance. Everybody was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. Um, and I think it's because this fragrance has had a long, long time to sit now. This is a fragrance from Be Layered, and this is called Sunshine Vibe. This is a solid dupe of Amouage Sunshine. I mean, it smells exactly like Amouage Sunshine. Exactly. You would not know that you weren't smelling sun like the real sunshine. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful tobacco fragrance. I think it's got like white tobacco and osmanthus. And I think I think it's osmanthus and not actual apricot because the osmanthus really has like an apricot type vibe to it. Ugh. There's something about that tobacco and osmanthus like combination that just makes it so syrupy and warm and yummy and sweet. And like I say, I got so many compliments on this. People kept saying, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And like they would tell me multiple times too, not just like the one time they, you know, were around me. It was like, I would see them and they'd be like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And then like, an hour later, we'd see each other again, and they'd be like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. Like, I mean, literally just like trying to sniff me. So yeah, this is a beautiful fragrance. It's so stunning in warm weather too, because something about, it's just got this like, I don't know, this honeyed, sweet tobacco but it's a very light kind of tobacco. It's not like heavy. It's not a wintry tobacco. It's not, I don't know. It's just amazing. I love this fragrance. I'm so happy I have a really, really good dupe of it because, um, yeah, I just am. Um, I've been through samples of it before and absolutely love it. And this layered the layered one is exactly like it, like exactly, it wears exactly like it too. So anyways, love this fragrance. I will definitely keep wearing this because this is a huge hit. People love it. It also lasts absolutely forever. I sprayed it on at, what time did I spray this on at? About quarter after five o'clock in the morning. And I got home yesterday at, we got off a little bit early yesterday. So I got off or so I got home at about 5.30 yesterday and I could still smell it. It was still going strong. Oh, it's beautiful. So that is Layered Sunshine Vibe. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I will be doing an update video updating you on all of the samples that I've been testing over the last couple weeks. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy that one. And I'm also... I've got a ton of samples that uh, a subscriber here sent over to me. Uh, some of them she sent in a swap and then some she just got together for me and just sent a whole bunch. So I think I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do a video of that because she has sent some really, really cool, like interesting, really obscure stuff that I don't hear talked about a lot. So I would love to go over it with you guys and you guys can let me know if you have any of them, if you've heard of any of them, if you've tried any of them, I'm really excited to, um, you know, 
know what you guys know about. There's probably a lot of you out there that know things about these fragrances that I don't know anything about um, because I've not even seen a lot of them. So I'm excited to go through that, like tons of samples with you guys. I think you'll really enjoy it. But anyways, that is it for today. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.